Hey Superstars, I'm Sue and welcome to my channel Reviews with Sue. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and supporting our channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Sue and hope you're considering that subscribe button. So would you like to know what today's unboxing is all about? Well, I have a product to share with you from Amazon. And if you want to know what's inside this box, then just keep on watching. Doing reviews just like I do. Hanging out with your friend Sue. It's Sue. And I'm back. I have a product to share with you from Amazon. The Amazon seller, BS Mall Store, did send this item over to me free for review so that way I could share with all of you. So the item inside this box is going to be a travel size 14 piece makeup brush set with an LED mirror. Now right now it is currently Amazon Prime Day. Well guess what? If you pick this guy up right now on Amazon Prime Days, it is $14.94. Now I don't know if the prices are going to fluctuate after Amazon Prime Days, but I am going to leave a link down below in the description box just in case you want to check it out for yourself. So this is the box that they did send me over right here. And I just think this is going to be amazing it is because I recently went on vacation. I did take a separate LED mirror with me and then I had my brushes. But if I could have had something all together, all compact, that would have been totally awesome. Now, if I do have any giveaways going on, I'm also going to link that down below in the description box. You just have to scroll all the way down to the bottom. So on the back of this box, it actually goes over the 14 different brushes that it comes with. We have a powdered brush, an angled brush, a face flat brush, an angled detail brush, an eyebrow combination brush, flame brush, precision crease brush, classic eyeshadow brush, a concealer brush, an eyebrow brush, a flat angled eyeshadow brush, a detail brush, a lip brush, and an eyelash brush. It also goes over on the back of this box that you should charge your LED mirror for at least two hours prior to using it for that very first time. Did I do that? Uh, no, I did not. So I'm kind of hoping that there's just a little bit of charge in there so I can actually show it to you. So this, again, is the front of the box right here. Here is the back of it. And if you couldn't hear me as I was talking about all those different names of all the brushes, that is exactly what's going to be inside right here. So I is pretty excited because I have not touched this and I have not felt it yet. Ooh, and it's pretty and it's pink it is. It's almost like a rose gold color. Now this also comes in white and purple from what I remember. Now I don't know if the prices are going to be this same for the different colors or not but the link's going to be down there and then you can just click on the different colors and see if those are on sale so i just pulled it out of the box there was styrofoam or this like not styrofoam not the kind that makes a mess all over the place it's that soft foam and that was on the front and the back of it and then you can see here you might get a little glare but doesn't it kind of look like almost like a rose gold but i'm pretty sure in the description it actually said that this was a pink color so now what we're going to do is we are going to pop this baby open so it looks like there is a little section there that you can pop it open right there. So I'm just gonna kind of pop it here and see if I can get it open and I've got it. And let's see what this looks like. So first of all, <laughs> this is so cute it is. Oh my goodness. First of all, you have a mirror here. Now there is a film on the mirror, so you're not gonna get a major reflection, just a little bit of a reflection. And then underneath, you can see you have all your brushes tucked here. So first of all, let's take a look at this. So I'm, not, I'm just going to leave the film on for the video right now, just so then that way it saves a little bit of glaring. But I am going to push the button and let's see what happens. Oh, it went on. It did. And then, okay, so there's just one um, level, I guess, of light. So you just have this light. It just goes on just like that. How cool is that? Now, I noticed that this actually bends all the way back. And then, of course, it's going to bend forward. But you can move it from side to side, which I think is pretty neat. So depending on what you want to use it for. Another thing too is if you're like doing the back of your hair and you want to see what it looks like if you're on vacation, you can make this go in the flat upright position just like this. And then you can kind of like look in the mirror and kind of like see what the back of your hair is looking like. I know a lot of times I do that and I don't have a mirror to hold up back there to see, you know, did I get all the curls in there or is there like one long straight piece that I completely missed? Then we are going to go over the brushes now. Wowie, wowie, wowie. So I have a whole fistful of brushes. So let's see here. And then this is what the inside, well, let me turn the light off now. And then this is what the inside looks like. So say for instance, you have a holder that you want to throw all these brushes in because you're using them for like every day because you can use them on travel, but you don't have to use them just on travel. You could actually use them, you know, at home. And if you put them in a container, then you might want to put some of your other goodies inside here. Like say you had some like eyebrow powder or you had your blush or maybe a couple of lipsticks you could keep it. 
Ooh, you could maybe put a bunch of lipsticks in here, close it down, keep this in your purse because it's really not that large. You know, I do have my measuring tape with me. I'm just kind of curious what the measurements are on this thing. So let's see, we have about six inches, about six inches down and across, it's going to be approximately, let me measure, about four inches. So it's about four inches by six inches. So, you know, a lot of people carry basically like duffel bags as purses or they use backpacks, things like that. So you could put some goodies in here and then take this on the go or just like your necessities of your makeup. But now we're gonna talk about the brushes because you know, that's like half of this whole video is supposed to be about is about the brushes. So let me go over them now. I'm not sure which ones are gonna be which, but I'm just gonna kinda like take a little gander at them. So you can see they're actually from BS Mall right there, and they are a seller on Amazon. So let's see here. So this looks like a flat brush right there. So you can see it's kind of puffy. Now, ooh, this might be good for like foundation, and this feels really good. It has some nice synthetic bristles in there. Let's see, is there any fallout happening? No, I'm not seeing anything. Are you seeing anything floating in the air? Because I'm not. But this does have a little bit of density to it where it might be good for putting on foundation. So there is one brush. And then they all came individually sealed here with some little plastic around them. So let me tuck that little guy back in there. And then here is our next brush. And this one looks like it's probably going to be like a powder brush, I'm guessing. And you can see how it's kind of like fluffing up. Now it is kind of two-toned there. So you can see the bottom are it's kind of like a, like a, pinky, maybe champagne color. And then the top bristles there are kind of like a white color. And then, oh yeah, this would definitely be good for powder. Now it's not going to be like where it's going to be like, like breaking up because there is like a little bit of firmness to this, as you can see right here, but they are super soft. And again, I'm not seeing any fallout happening. Yay. And then we have a little angled brush right here. So that might be good for blush or it might even be good for maybe a highlighter, or maybe if you're doing some contouring around your face, you could use it for that. And this one's like a little bit shorter and it is nice and thick. And again, it's still very nice and soft right there. All right, now we're moving on to the makeup brushes or the eyeshadow brushes. And to be honest, I don't know a lot about those. I just grab one and I use it and I slap it on and I slap it on. But let's try a couple of the brushes that I kind of would use. So this one here is like a little spoolie there. So you can use that for your eyelashes or you could use it for your eyebrows if you wanted to put them into position. And then this here looks like it might be like a little lippy brush right there. Very nice little point on that one. Then you have this one here, which is a little bit thicker. And let's see, where's another one I kind of know that I like to use? Oh, here's another one. It kind of looked like that last one there. I mean, it's hard to tell the difference between all these different brushes too. Now this little angled brush, these are the kind that I like to use for when I'm putting on my eyebrow powder right there. So let's see, let me just pop it out of there and kind of take a little feel, yeah. And that's very, very firm too, I have to say. So it's definitely gonna go right into place. So we have that one. Then we have these two here. I'm just gonna kind of show you a few more of them here. And then you've got a couple more. I mean, who knew that you would need this many brushes just to do your eyes, you know? I mean, those two almost look alike, except for, I want to say this one over here looks like it might be a little bit smaller and it might have a little bit of an angle to it. Maybe it's just my imagination because, you know, I make up stuff here and there occasionally. <laughs> just kidding. And then we have these two brushes right here. And then this one here, this one might actually be kind of nice for actually for some highlighter. Ooh, and it's very soft. So this would be probably really good for like, if you're trying to blend some of your eyeshadows in. So it came with... 14 different eyeshadow as well as makeup brushes. Then we also have the really cool little mirror here. So let me pop it open so you can get another little gander at it here. I just gotta pop it open. Okay, there we go. So this is what it looks like. And then when you turn it on, it looks just like this right here. And then to charge this, where do you charge? Okay, there we go. So to charge, oh, I left the light on. But to charge it, you just have to put your little um, which one is that? That looks like it might be a C port there. Now it did not come with a charging cable, but you know something? I have plenty of them and I'm sure you all have plenty of them as well. So I do want to thank BS Mall again so much for sending this over. I so greatly appreciate it. If you have any interest in checking out their travel makeup brushes with an LED light, I am going to leave a link down below in the description box. Remember the price I quoted you is $14.94. That's for during their Amazon Prime days. 
Now, after that, I don't know what the prices are going to change, but if you ever see one of those little click coupons, I would recommend that you would click that coupon because if you don't, you won't receive that sale. Sometimes it's like a percentage off. Sometimes it might be a couple of dollars off. But like I said, if you don't click it, you ain't gonna get it. But right now, as I'm filming this video today, there is not any click coupons or percentages or dollars off. It's just that it's Amazon Prime Days. So if you want a steal of a deal, check this little baby out for yourself. Do you have any type of travel makeup brushes? And do you travel? Do you like to travel? Do you want to travel? Well, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me today. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe. A like on your way it would be great. And if you have an extra time, hop on over to Instagram. Follow me over there. It's Reviews of Sue, just like my channel name. Please be safe, be well, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!